All righty. Uh, any pain to injuries before we start? Good. All right. Let's sit up tall. All right. Good day, everyone. This is Stephen Cheng coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video. Uh, today's class is open flow. It is a level one, level two. Um, if you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations, be sure to modify or skip poses as you need, and to always be mindful uh, to make some good choices about your movement practice so that you don't create any injuries or perpetuate any injuries. All right, let's sit up tall. If you need to elevate and sit up on a block, please go ahead and do so. Palms face up. Fingers come to Gyana Mudra. Thumb and index fingers touching. As you settle into your seat, elongate through your spine. Three ohms together, inhale. Um, um, Keeping the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart. Pressing your thumbs into your heart, heart back into your thumbs. Lifting the heart up toward the sky. Setting your intention for yoga practice. Devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself. Your supreme self that lives within your heart. Chanting the mantra for purification. Purifying the space in which you practice yoga. Call and response. Om ma pavitraha, Om ma pavitraha, pavitrawa, pavitrawa, sarwa vishtan, sarwa vishtan, gato piwa, gato piwa, yaha smarit, yaha smarit, bundrikaksham, bundrikaksham, sapashya, sapashya, Bihyandraha, Bihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Fingers come back to Gyan Mudra. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. And chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. And then chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side. Roll it back, opposite side, roll it center. A few more rounds at your own pace. Chin back to center and pause. And then taking the opposite direction. And then one more giant circle. Chin back toward the chest. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and reach your spine. Extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands supporting to either side and turn your toes toward each other and then roll up. Draw in, roll out, draw in, out of rotation, circling. Come back to center, switch them around, inner rotations. And then back to center again. Cross your shins. Take the opposite shin on top. Non-dominant crossing of the legs. Inhale. Take the arms up high and extend. Exhale. Twist to the right.
Inhale back to center, arms up. Exhale, other side. Back to center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Back up again, legs forward, forward fold. You can grab your feet, ankles or your shins. Make your way back up, keep the left leg extended, step the right foot to the floor, and let's twist to the right side again. Right hand to the floor, left hand wrapping the right knee, and twist. Patricia, you're just gonna go the opposite direction, so it's not a compressive twist, but an open twist. Inhale back to center, and then twist to the other side. Back to center, switch legs. Right leg extended, left foot steps down. Give yourself about one fist distance and then wrap the right arm around your left knee and twist. Inhale back to center, exhale counter twist to the right. Release, back to center. Soles of feet together, knees apart. Draw the heels in. Grabbing the ankles, Baddha Konasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Come back up. Let the feet go slightly further. And then you can grab the insides of the feet. And on the forward fold, you can round your back as much as you want here in this one. If you have a little bit more depth in you, you can thread the arms underneath your legs and draw forward. Inhale, come back up. Let the feet separate about mats with distance and flex your feet. With your hands, grab the heels. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Again, you have a choice here this time. You can round your spine or you can keep a length of your spine as you draw forward. Just, you're just using your hands to your heels for resistance to take it further forward. So it's a hip opener and a forward fold, lower back stretch. Make your way back up. Extend the legs out about max width distance. Left hand to the floor, right arm is up. Reach forward, grab the foot, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, fold. Take it back up, switch sides. Right hand down, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, grabbing the foot. Take it back up, come back to center, widen out the legs even more. So go almost to your maximum. It doesn't have to be quite maximum. Left hand to inside the left leg, extend the right arm out to the side, and then side bending over the left leg, right arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Press your right hand to inside the right leg. Extend the left arm out, and then side bending over the right leg. Take it back to center. Keep the right leg as is. Draw the left heel in. Left hand to the floor, behind you. Right arm forward, bend your right elbow. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. Exhale, gently twist your left. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. 
Exhale, twist your left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist left and stay here. Right, if you want to deepen your twist, right hand to outer left knee and use that resistance, twist deeper. All right, left hand comes down to floor. Step the right foot down, pivot to your left knee, lift up and reach your right arm overhead. And take the seat back down. Square back to center. Extend the left leg out. Draw the right knee in, a uh, right heel in. Right hand behind you. Left arm forward. Bend your left elbow. Inhale. Draw the left elbow back to wind it up. Exhale. Twist to the right. Inhale. Draw the left elbow back. Exhale. Twist to the right. Inhale. Draw back. Exhale, twist. Stay twisting. And if you want to go deeper, left hand to outer right knee for resistance and twist deeper. Then release to take the right palm down. Step the left foot down and pave it to your right shin and extend the left arm and stretch. Take the seat back down. Extend the right leg forward. Extend the left leg forward. Let's take the forward fold one more time. Arms up on the inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take it back up. And let's take that into a back bend. Lower your forearms down. And then as you press your forearms down, lift your chest, broaden your chest, broaden your shoulders, and gently let the head draw back. Lift the head back up, press into your hands, lift the elbows up, and then swing the legs back behind you for down dog and start to pedal out the legs. Walk it out side to side. All right, come back to stillness in the down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three like a dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round the spine. Inhale, kick up, open up the hips and bend the right knee. Re-extend the right leg, step it forward, warrior one. Inhale, lengthen front leg, reach up high and keep the arms reaching and keep the right leg extending and gently tip back for a slight back bend, looking upward. Come back to vertical, bend your right knee, lean the torso forward to a diagonal, keep the arms extending, keep the crown of the head reaching forward. As if you were swimming, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. One more time, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward and come all the way back up to warrior one, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. You can modify with the right arm to right leg or right hand to the floor. Left arm reaching up. Inhale, take it all the way back up. Reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg. Triangle, right hand to top of the shin or right hand to the floor. Left arm up. Inhale, all the way back up. Reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor. Right foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose. 
kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee, re-extend, step the left foot forward, warrior one. Once you get to warrior one, lengthen out the front leg, stabilize here, and then gently leaning the upper torso back, looking upwards. Take it back to vertical, bend the front knee, warrior one, then lean the torso forward to a diagonal, pressing strongly into your back heel for support, and then as if you were swimming, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward. One more time, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, and come all the way back up to warrior one. Open it up, warrior two, inhale reverse warrior, Exhale, side angle, you can modify again, elbow to the leg, or left hand to the floor, right arm reaching up. Inhale, take it back up, reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back. Ah, sorry, come all the way back up. I forgot triangle. Lengthen out the left leg, left hand to the top of the shin or to the floor, right arm reaching up. Inhale, take it back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank. In a one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in towards the nose and round. Kick it up. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. This time, right knee to the outside of the right hand for a low lunge here. Yeah, step the foot down, sorry. Outside the right hand. So it's a low lunge into a lizard shape. All right, then walk your hands slightly forward, maybe about one or two hand prints, and just actively lean the hips forward for the hip opener. Walk your hands in slightly, and then as you start to lengthen out the right leg, fold over your right leg. Now, if this is difficult for some of you, right, you can always angle your torso slightly off to the left side and lengthen out the front leg. So for those of us who need blocks but don't have blocks, you can always modify by turning the torso slightly to your left. One more breath. Bend the front knee again, left hand stays down, right arm up to twist. Then take the right hand to the floor, ground the back heel, circle it up into warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, half moon. Right hand forward, about a foot, lobe off to right side, tip forward to balance. Now start with the gaze looking down to check your balance. Stack the left side over your right. Flex your left foot, reach it back strongly, and raise your left arm up. So this is your half moon. And then once you connect with your half moon, if you have a good balance here, you can start to look upwards. And if you're stronger and you want to start to bind, you can bend your left knee and grab the outside of the left foot with your left hand. You can take it with both hands, your choice. Start to break, step it all the way back. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga up dog down, dog. Inhale, left heel up. 
Exhale, left knee in towards the nose, around. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. All right, you're gonna step the left foot forward to the outside of the left hand. And once you steady your lunge here, you're gonna walk your hands forward by about a, um, one and a half hand prints or so. And then lunge your hips deeply forward. Go into the hips in this lunge. All right, start to walk your hands back in to the inside of the left foot and then start to lengthen out the left leg the best you can. So again, for those of you who need blocks, you can use your blocks. If you don't have blocks, one way to modify is to angle the torso over to the right. And that basically um, reduces the intensity of the hamstring stretch so that maybe you can fully lengthen your left leg as you support with the hands to the side. All right? Otherwise, you're squaring forward if you can. All right, bend the left knee. Right hand stays on the floor, left arm up to twist. Take the left hand back down, warrior two. Ground the back heel down and rise all the way back up. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm up and back. Exhale, half moon. Left hand forward about a foot, a little bit off to left side. Now you can keep the gaze looking down to check your balance. Flex your right foot, reach your back, raise your right arm up as you stack the right side over your left. Once you're nice and steady, if you want to look upwards toward the sky, you can. If you want to start to work on binding, right hand to your right foot. Or if you have really good balance here, to take both hands to your right foot, it becomes a free hand balance. All righty, beginning to break. Step it back, warrior two, reverse warrior, and then hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Inhale, kick it up. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. Re-extend, right knee comes in and land that shin to your floor for an early pigeon. So in this pigeon, you're not gonna go that flat. You're just gonna take the left knee to the floor and stand up relatively tall. Tuck your left toes under for additional support. So it's a very high pigeon instead of a lower pigeon, okay? All right, on the inhale, reach the arms forward, up and back. On the exhale, take the hands into a fist, bend the elbows. Round the spine and draw forward. Inhale, lift up, extend, reach up and back. Exhale, hands into your fist, elbows drawn back and fold forward halfway. One more time, inhale, length and reach up. Exhale, draw it in. This time, length and reach up and wrap the hands back behind you, interlace your fingers, lift up, gaze up. Release, walk your hands forward, uh, maybe about two feet, then tip forward, bend your left knee, grab the foot, kick back and twist. Take the gaze to look forward, lean the way forward, pick up the left knee and kick back. So your right leg is still in a pigeon position. It's a slightly different pose from our regular tiger pose. All right, when you're ready, uh, it's because Shaquille, it's the opposite hand and foot. Right hand to your left foot, that's why you can't balance. All right, when you're ready, step it back. 
Walk your hands back. Tuck the left toes under. Raise your right leg up. Three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you. Interlace. Lift up. Gaze up. Exhale. Bow forward. Devotional warrior. Within your forward fold, release your hands. Walk your left hand forward to opposite hand and foot again. Revolve half moon. Tip forward to balance on your right foot, left hand. Reach your left heel back. Then raise your right arm up to twist to opposite handed foot. And then again, binding. Right hand to left foot and kick back. Begin to break, release, step it all the way back and circle it up and around. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee in toward the nose and round. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Re-extend, draw the left knee in for an early pigeon. So left shin down, right knee comes down. You're quite high in your pigeon. Right toes are tucked under and stand up on your shins. On the inhale, reach your arms, forward, up and back. On the exhale, hands into a fist, draw the elbows in and round forward. Three times, inhale, lift and back. Exhale, draw it forward and in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, draw it in. This time, inhale, lift. Reach up and then wrap the hands back behind you. Take the other thumb on top, non-dominant interlacing of your hands, and take that into a back bend. Then start to release. Walk your hands forward, and then as you bend your right knee, reach back with your left hand, so opposite hand and foot, left hand to the right foot. Then start to twist to look past your left shoulder behind you. And then start to lean forward and pick up the right knee and kick back. Hey, Shaquille, you got it this time. <laughs> All right, so the left leg is still in that pigeon pose, right? So it's a variation on your uh, tiger pose. All right, start to release. Step the right foot all the way back. Walk your hands in as well. On the inhale, kick your left leg up. Three like a dog. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one, arms up high. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace with the other thumb on top, lift up, gaze up. Bow forward, devotional warrior. Revolve half moon, release your right hand forward about a foot. Then as you tip forward, reach your right heel back. So you're standing on the right hand, left foot. Right heel's reaching back, left arm is reaching up. Revolved half moon. Then bind, left hand to the right foot and kick back. Uh, so Rosalind, switch hands. So right hand down, left arm up. That's right. All right, start to break, step it all the way back, circle it up and around, inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, hands to the floor, chaturanga, up dog, down dog.
start to walk, your feet forward toward your hands. Feet together, knees together. Bend the knees, rise up for chair, arms up high. Take the right hand to grab the left wrist, extend and side bend to the right. So notice that your torso is relatively vertical, right? So you're not really forward like this and side bending. You're much more vertical and side bending. Your knees are bent in your chair. Inhale, come back up, switch legs, uh, switch arms, extend, side bend to your left. Back to center, arms up. Lengthen out the legs, lift up and slightly tilt the back for a back bend, giving your legs a little bit of a release. Come back to vertical, tree pose, stepping on the left foot. Pick up the right knee, so of the right foot and a left leg. Steady balance, arms up and out. Some possible options as you like. You can wrap the hands back behind you. You can side bend to the right. If you wanna take ankles to knee, right ankle on top of the left knee, flex your right foot. You can bend your left knee a little bit and extend forward, maybe even arms out into a forward fold. All righty, let's begin to make your way back up to tree. Then take the arms up, step the right foot down chair. Exhale, dive forward, crow pose or yogic squat if you're not taking crow pose. So hands come forward about a foot and a half. Draw the arms back, knees to back the arms. Gaze slightly forward to the floor ahead of you and then tipping your way forward, lifting your feet off the floor. If you're not taking crow, it could be um, yogic squat. All right, so Rosalind, if you step your feet wider and turn your toes out, maybe you can get the heels down. Yeah, there you go. So much more stable, right? And you can free up your hands. Two more breaths. When you're ready, walk back, jump back. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Step the right foot forward, crescent moon. Left knee comes down. If you need extra padding to your left knee, left side folding toward center or any other uh, blankets or towels that you have, then lunge your hips forward, get into the quad stretch. Once you're set with the base of the pose and you're ready, arms up, Venus Mudra. All right, so Patricia, good for the hip opening, but just don't overstretch, right? So if your arms reaching up, you particularly, since you're not supporting with your hands, you don't want to overstretch, right? Because then it's too much stretch to your front body. So if you want a little bit more stretch to your front body, support with your hands. So lunge forward, and then you can lean the torso back a little bit. However, if you're not supporting with your arms, I think it might be safer for you to just reach the arms straight up. All right? I'll give you three more breaths to work through any additional variations you want. You can wrap the hands back behind you. You can side bend one side. You can side bend the other. And if you have other binding practices, like your mermaids, feel free to take anything else you want. All right, so Rosalind, let's activate a little bit more. Take both hands to the top of the thighs and uh, very uh, mindfully lunge your hips forward so you can get into the stretch here. Then square the torso forward, supporting evenly, and then let the upper torso gently lean back so that you get, not, uh, you get lots of stretch and there's passive stretching happening, right? But you just don't want to just overly support and you're not really doing much of anything because it looks a little bit too 
soft to easy to there, right? So you were just kind of like there. Now you're finally stretching, right? So I want you to get that stretch. All right, let's begin to break. Hands to either side of the right foot, tuck the left toes under, and let's come into your um, pyramid once again to release your knees, your hips, your lower back in this forward fold. Bend the front knee, ground the back heel. Circle it up. Reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor, totterung up, dog down, dog. Inhale, step, the right foot forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, standing forward, bend. Feet together, knees together, bend the knees and rise up to chair. Stay in this chair pose with your torso a little bit more vertical. Bend your right elbow, left hand to right elbow, and side bending to your left. Square back to center, extend, bend your left elbow, right hand to left elbow, side bending to the right. So notice the difference between grabbing the wrist and have the full extent of your arms to stretch versus breaking at the elbow and stretching here. It goes more directly into your shoulder joint when you sh shorten the arm. All right, come back to center, extend, lengthen out the legs, gently tip it back for release. Come back to vertical, tree pose, stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee, sew of the left foot in the right leg. Hands together and put arms up and out in a Y position. Continue to steady here, or for those of you who took additional options, again, you can wrap the hands back behind you and interlace with the other thumb on top, or side bending to your left. All right, if you have other options that you took, go ahead. The one that I ended up taking was uh, ankles to knee, bending the right knee, and drawing forward into a forward fold with the arms out. So it's almost like a tabletop. So whatever you like. All righty, let's make your way back to your tree. Raise the arms up, step the left foot down chair. Exhale, dive forward. Crow pose again, crow pose into a headstand, or once again, come to your yogic squat. All right, Katie, <laughs> it was probably an accident, but you lifted back up, so you came back into a, a crow, so that was nice. So sometimes these things are about just shifting of the weight back and forth to transition from one thing to the next. So since you made the head, uh, the way down with the head, that is your transition into a headstand. Then you can come back down with the knees to back the arms, lift the head back up, coming back into a tree, which was kind of like where you were getting to, the second part. All right. All right, let's make your way back. Walk back. Jump back. Chaturanga, dog down, dog. Left leg up. Step the left foot forward. Right knee comes down. Crescent moon. So again, taking extra padding as you need, however you like. Then hands to the top of the thighs and actively lunge your hips forward, getting into that quad stretch. Then you want to think about pressing your hands to your thighs and the belly leaning away from the thighs. So leading with the upper torso, leaning back, so you can get that space and going into the back bend. 
And then once you're set and you're ready, arms up, Venus Mudra. And then again, for those of you taking additional options, go ahead and repeat what you did on the first side. All right, so options does not always have to be more difficult, right? Options can be easier. So sometimes maybe just taking the hands to the top of the thighs and lunging forward and getting into a very nice stretch into your quads, into your hips, into your psoas is good enough. Maybe that's what you're seeking today, right? And that's good enough. have about two more breaths. All righty, beginning to break. Hands to either side of the left foot for your pyramid. Tuck the right toes under and folding over your left leg. Bend the front knee, ground the back heel, circle it up for reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor, chaturanga, dog down, dog. Step the left foot forward, low lunge, right foot forward, standing forward bend. Feet together, knees together, rise up chair. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee. Right hand to right knee, left arm out to a T. If you have better extension, it could be hand to big toe and extend the heel forward. Then gently start to open up the knee or the heel to the right side. The steadier balance here. Open up the knee, Rosalind. Yes, to the side. So just keep rotating the knee. So you're going into a hip opener as well. There you go. Wherever you are, square back to center. Step the right foot down chair. Exhale, dive forward. Bend the knees, come right back up to chair. Stepping on the right foot, draw the left heel back. Shiva Nataraj, dancing Shiva. Reach your left hand forward and sweep the left hand back behind you to grab the inside of the foot. Inner thighs together, right arm forward. And then once you steady your balance, as you lean forward, you are kicking back. Through your warrior three, extending the left leg back, step it back to warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen out the right leg, turn the right toes to the left side, but straddling for a bend. Let's check your feet. Your toes should be slightly turned in a little bit closer than your heels. Hands to the hips and lift up for your back bend. Come back up to neutral. You can always bend your knees a little bit if your hamstrings are tight and make your way forward. Once your hands are touching down and you're supportive, on the inhale, lengthen your spine, lengthen out the legs the best you can. Exhale, hinge at the hips, take it forward into the forward fold. Right, try to lengthen out the legs the best you can. You're looking for a hamstring stretch, back of the body stretch. We'll take another five deep breaths here. For those of you who like to invert, you can always invert. 
or just stay here and get the benefits of the back body stretch, always grounding firmly through your heels and the outer feet for support and look for lengthiness from the heels grounding down to the back of the legs, reaching the tail up and then from the tail reaching the crown of head down. All right, let's start to finish up your variations and come back to the straddling forward bend. And then to come out safely out of the pose with your hands supporting, bend at the knees and let the feet drop a little bit. Then lift the head and the upper back. So now your spine is lengthened and the upper back is engaged. Lean the weight back towards your heels and through the strength of the legs, lift up through a neutral spine, and once you come all the way up, expand the arms, turn the right toes back forward, warrior two, inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Step the right foot forward, low lunge, left foot forward, standing forward bend, Feet together, knees together, rise up, chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee. Left hand to left knee, right arm out to counterbalance. If you have better extension, hand to big toe and extend the left leg forward. Once you have your balance and you're ready, start to open up the knee of the heel to the left side. Square back to center. Step the left foot down chair. Switching foot, uh, left foot down, right heel back, Shiva Nataraj. Right hand reaching back to grab the inside of the right foot, inner thighs together, left arm forward. Then as you lean forward, kick the right leg back. And through your warrior three, reach your right heel back, step the right foot down, warrior one, open it up, warrior two, straddling for a bend, lengthen out the left leg, turn the left toes to the right side. So again, check your footing, toes are slightly turned in, heels are just a little bit wider, hands to the hips, lift up for the back bend. Come back to vertical. You can always bend your knees a little bit to soften your knees. You can um, ease into your hamstrings and then make your way forward by hinging at the hips. Once the hands touch down for support, inhale, re-lengthen your spine, re-lengthen your legs. Keeping that on the exhale, hinge at the hips to slowly take it forward into your forward fold. And again, your choice, continue to work here. You can invert as you like. If you prefer to take a twist, you can take a twist here by walking your right hand to the center for a tripod and raise your left arm up to twist. You can take a few breaths there and then switch sides, twist the other side. If you prefer to fold over one leg, you can walk your hands over to one leg and fold over that leg. Take a few breaths and then go the other way. So your choice where you want to go with this.
All right, we're taking variations, start to finish up, come back into your straddling forward bend. And with your hands on the floor, bend both knees, let the seat drop a little bit. Lift the head, lift the upper back. So now you're engaging your upper back and you're neutral on the spine. Shift the weight back toward the heels as you use the strength of the legs and the neutral spine. Make your way up to a standing position. Once you're up, expand the arms. Turn the left toes forward, warrior two. Reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor. Chaturanga up, dog down, dog. Right leg up, draw the right knee in, land the shin to the floor for the proper full expression of your pigeon. Inge your left knee further back, lower your hips the best you can, untuck the toes. Walk your hands back, elongate through the spine once you're set. Then go ahead and make your way forward. You have about five to 10 more breaths. If you want to take a variation, go ahead and take it. If you don't, stay here in a passive pigeon. Keep raising that leg, keep raising that leg, keep raising that leg. Okay. <laughs> so then what happens is as you keep raising that leg, you might even start to then shift the arm, that is the forearm stand, and then maybe that knee comes away from the arm and comes all the way up. So basically this, right? Let's hope I can do it and I'm strong enough still. Okay, so once you get that leg up, get it to as, more of, as much of a vertical line as possible. Then start to shift the weight into the arm that is the forearm stand. And then maybe light enough to lift the other leg. <laughs> All right, let's start to make your way back. Down, dog. Walk it out. All right, second side, left leg up. Draw the left knee in, land the shin to the floor. Inch your right knee further back, untuck the toes, elongate through the spine by walking back, making sure your hips, pelvis, nice and level. Then you can make your way forward, forearms down, or make your pillows to the hands and come into a passive pigeon. Just let the weight fall forward, keeping the hips even.
And then those of you who took variations on the first side, make sure that you do repeat on the second side. I right, said, so Shaquille, if you take that front leg and you angle it to the left a little bit more, so release the back leg, set the front leg first. Let it angle further to the left, so wider to your left away from the center line. So that's your shin, right? Not your left leg, your, your left thigh. So let the left knee, right? So right now, your left knee, left thigh is really um, toward the center. I want you to angle it away from you. When you angle away from you, you're actually balancing on a triangle. Whereas, if your left knee is directly in front of you, oftentimes you collapse and sit on one side. So if you angle out the thigh to the side and you're in this triangle, you're much more level, right? And you tend not to fall off to the side. You tend to stay on the shin and the hips are level. So that when you reach back and you bind, rather than collapsing to one side and you curve your spine, you can stay centered like this. Even if you take Mermaid 2, right, you can stay centered like this as opposed to falling to one side. All right, so hopefully all that makes sense. Good. Much better. All right, let's start to finish up. Make your way back up. Walk your hands in, down dog. Walk it out side to side. All right, once you're feeling pretty neutral and even, walk your feet forward toward your head. Take the seat down and start to recline onto your back. Hug the left knee in, left arm out to a T and twist to the right. Recline twisting. All right, so Patricia, make sure that you're taking the option, right? The, the other option that you have which is separating your feet about max width, drop the knees over to one side. So since we're twisting to the right, you're dropping your knees over to the right, and then the right ankle on top of the left knee if you want, or you can just keep both feet to the floor. So you're taking windshield wiper to the right. All right, start to take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist the other direction. And start to take it back to center, hug both knees in. And then step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, Shavasana, find a relaxation, feet are separated, toes turned out, palms face up, eyes are closed, and let everything go.
beginning to draw your breath back in and start to move the fingers and the toes. When you're ready, reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. And then rolling over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross leg position. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale from Aum. Hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in practice. You know, come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through yubindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video and all of this can be found on my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you again. Be well. See you next time.